Our sun is cooling faster than anyone expected and the Earth's temperature is cooling along with it. This is by Armstrong Economics and uh, he says, I believe this is something worthy of giving thought and consideration to. Some folks might be tempted to read articles such as this and disregard the urgency of the message within, but I humbly suggest taking this seriously. This is not something that will inflict its consequences overnight, but will instead do slowly, do so slowly and gradually. However, that will not lessen the hardships that will arise, and besides, there's no harm in being prepared. The danger of the global warming crowd is that they are misleading the entire world, preventing us from what is dangerously unfolding that sparks a rapid decline in civilization, and that is global cooling. I previously warned it said that this is not my opinion, but simply our computer. If it were really conscious, it would be running a store to buy heating pads, and uh, this time it will it soon will be getting much colder for Europe than the last three, but it will also be cold in the United States. We are in a global cooling period, and all the data we have in our computer system warns that the Earth is turning cold, not warm. This cooling is very serious. This decline in the energy output of the sun will manifest in a commodity boom in agriculture, shortages, shortages and food prices high, and we'll see famine beginning to rise as crops fail, and they will inspire uh, disease and plagues. We'll see the first peak in agricultural prices coming around 2024, after the lows are established in the cycle. And we have been warning this rise would affect after 2017. Previously, he says, I reported that NASA confirmed we're going into a cooling period, not warming. They have put out a forecast of declining sunspot activity. Now NASA has come out confirming that our computer is being, has been forecasting what we've been forecasting. They have reported that the sun is experiencing a rapid decline in sunspots. It's also dimming in brightness or energy output. NASA Space Weather Station recorded during 2017 96 days at 27% of observing the sun have been completely absent of sunspots. And he says also previously warning that there is a 300 year cycle to this entire phenomenon. This cycle has aligned with the major turning point of economic confidence model. And during 2015, there were zero days observed without sunspots. The following year, 2016 came with a 9% of the days recorded without any sunspots. This jump to 27% here in 20, uh, 2017 is a substantial jump from 2015 that we cannot afford to ignore. NASA launched a new sensor, which is the International Space Station named TSIS-1. Its mission is to actually measure the dimming of the sun's irradiance, and uh, it is to replace the aging source spacecraft. And NASA has confirmed our computer's forecast that the number of sunspots in this cycle will fall rapidly as it plunges into a date with its 11-year cycle minimum. There was a sharp climate drop in 1916, creating a spike low in temperature. This 1916 spike low in our climate coincided with war and made this devastating war aside from the poison gas. This was the combined terrible influenza or flu pandemic of 1918-1919 which was the deadliest in modern history. This pandemic infected at least 500 million people worldwide, or about a third of the entire planet's population. Um, it killed an estimated 20 to 50 million victims. This pandemic began the spring of 1917. Some source points to troops in France as being the center of the pandemic. Now, um, I'm not going to talk about the influenza, but across the entire electromagnetic spectrum of the sun, the sun's output, output is declining. I personally hate cold, so this is not a forecast I want to see happen. Nevertheless, our computer has correlated this cooling trend with disease, and it appears that famine also plays a role in this entire event. Additionally, a simple correlation with the energy output of the suns reveals that all major earthquakes occurred during strong solar minimums, which we are head smack into. Consequently, there are seven major earthquakes of eight magnitude moving into the turning point 2008-2010. Q1 
Kirill Islands in Russia, twice, 8.1, November 2006, January 2007. Peru, 8 magnitude, August 2007. Sumatra, 8.5 magnitude, September 2007. Sichuan earthquake, 8 magnitude, May 2008. Samoa, 8.1, September uh, 2009. Maui, Chile, 8.8, February 2010. And then we have, also have the uh, Fukushima of 9.1. There are also uh, ways you can prepare, but to do prepare, do not wait until the very last second. This is by Martin Armstrong, Armstrong Economics on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting, you'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.